are you feeling? How's the recovery going? Recovery going good. I feel good. Back running, um, doing DB drills, everything I need to be doing um, leading up to, to training camp. So I think I'll be ready day one to go. How challenging was it to play that second half of the season with the injury? You said how? How challenging was it? Uh, I done had this injury for like almost four years now, uh, dating back to when I was in KC. So, I mean, it just started to get a little worse over time, you know, the, um, the grind of, of a football season. So it started to run my body a lot. So, I mean, I just felt like I had to get it done. I mean, I was balling the second half of the season. So, you know, it really didn't take much of a toll on the team like that. When you say it got, it got worse, I mean, when you're, like you mentioned, you're playing well. Yeah. Did it get more difficult just to play through it? Uh, just like my day-to-day -day life, like just sitting down, my lower back started to hurt, uh, driving the car, sitting in the car for a long period of time, my body was just aching from doing that. And once, you know, my back started to hurt, I'm, I was, I'm only like mid-20s, it felt like I was 35, 40 down there, so <laughs> I had to get it done when that started happening. What, uh, where, obviously, uh, great season last year, what are you looking to improve? Or? Uh, capitalized on a lot of missed opportunities I had last year. I feel like I could have had almost 10 interceptions last year. So I want to just, uh, you know, make more plays, try to become more of a leader, more of a talker. I'm kind of like the old head of a DB group now. So, yeah, just become more of a leader and make more plays. Be better than I was last year. What are your initial impressions on the young guys coming in? Uh, I haven't been with them too much because I've been rehabbing. But um, just watching film, I think um, Renardo, that's his name, huh? Renardo. <laughs> I ain't know if it was Ronaldo, but uh, I know he can play. I know he can play just by like uh, watching film. He's super sticky in coverage. Um, I think he's smart. Um, once he get a uh, little more reps on his belt, I think he's gonna be a baller player. Mooney, you know receivers. What, what do you think of Pearsall and Cowing, the two rookies so far? Uh, Cowing super fast, like real, real fast. Um, Ricky, he's shifty. Um, got good moves. Um, good hands. Um, create a lot of separation. I think those those guys are gonna help us out a lot this year. For sure. You got a sense of what the Nick Sorensen kind of defensive coordinator is gonna be like? Do you kind of set a tone right now? Uh, you said, do I have a feel? Yeah. What, is it oh well, Nick been around, you know, uh, for a while here in San Francisco. So, I mean, I think it's gonna be status quo. We're gonna be the same defense. Probably, hopefully, you know, fly around a little bit better um, and try to get over the hump and win the Super Bowl. I think only only way we can get better is become a championship defense. We'd have been to the coming championship two bowl and just haven't won it yet. So yeah. Have you spent any time with Brandon Staley? I know he's spending most time with the DB. Uh like I said, I've been rehabbing a lot, so I haven't been with the coaches in a lot, but I know he's super smart. Um seemed like a good coach, funny. Um I talked to the, some of the other guys about him, about his coaching style. They say um, they like him. So I'm pretty sure um, I'll fit right in and you know have a good relationship with him. You've been on a Super Bowl winning team and you've been on a Super Bowl losing team. Are there any intangibles like in the mental approach to the game that you noticed that were different in those two situations? I don't want to, I don't want to sound dumb, but what you mean by intangibles? Well, like obviously you prepare hard on both sides, but mm -hmm. were there any mental things that you noticed that were different last year as opposed to when you were on the Kansas City team where you won? Uh, I, honestly, I think we was the best team. We was the better team. They just. Well, I wouldn't say better team. They were the better team because they won, but I feel like we had a little more talent, but they just had the best player in the NFL. So, I mean, they got it done. Best point back in the field. Mm -hmm. When you look going into the last year of your deal here, how important is this year for you? And would you like to get something done to stay around, or, or do you want to kind of play this out? Talking about a deal? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd like to stick around. I feel like it's a good team. They love me here. I love you here. I uh, love all the coaches, love my teammates. But, uh, you know, I just let my agent handle it. That's the business side of things. I'm just do my job, go out there and ball, you know, put the pressure on them, you know, hopefully they give me a bag. If they don't, I know it won't be, like, any bad blood in between me and them. It's just, like, it'll be a, a business decision. But I'm pretty sure they'll like to have me, and I'd like to stay here for sure. Mooney, how excited are you to have Floyd and Posa up front this year? Uh, Leonard Floyd, right? Leonard Floyd, uh, I think he's a dog, man. I've been watching him a lot of his career with the Rams and the Bills um, in Chicago, too. I think he's a dog. He played. He seemed like he got a lot of good energy. He had a good energy by himself. Um, he played hard. He runs the ball. So, yeah, hopefully it just make my job a lot, whole lot easier, you know what I mean? Um, well, he is eight, nine-year vet, maybe 10-year vet. So, he's an OG, so I know he's going to get the job done whenever he's in the game, for sure.
Do you plan on going back home to do the rest of rehab during the 40 days off? Yeah, I'm going back home. I got to be with my family a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You did some traveling during the off season. How much, how life changing was that? Uh, I went to a lot of places. I went to Africa. Um, I feel like it's one of the best countries. Best countries. Um, just to see our people over there, you know what I'm saying? It was, I don't want to, you know, I, I saw, a lot, saw a lot of black people over there. And uh, it just felt good to be around me, you know what I mean? Um, and to see like how they live, you know, they don't they don't have a lot of like we got in America. They don't stress about the things we stress about, like you know the fancy cars, clothes, and everything like that. They just happy like to get by every day, you know. So um, a lot of them were super poor, poverty, but you know their spirit was way up here, you know what I mean? So that's what I love about Africa. Definitely see myself going back over there to help out once I retire. Did and I? the end of my career for sure. You know, I want to help my I want to help my people out for sure. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? I ain't really. In short, with that, being that you went out and you saw that, and you said it changed your perspective about things. Mm -hmm. Knowing what you've been through to get to this point, losing the Super Bowl, having the surgery, do you have a new perspective coming into this season on what you have to get done personally and in everything? Uh, personally, this taught me to be more grateful and thankful for everything I have. You know, uh, NFL player, rich as hell. Um, I got one of the best jobs in the world, but I still kind of like stress about like small things that I shouldn't stress about. So it just taught me to be more grateful, more thankful for everything. Um, like I said a few seconds ago, like they don't have much, but shit, they spirit was like way up here. You know, everybody had good personalities that was funny, that weren't complaining about nothing. So personally, it just taught me to be, like I said, again, thankful and grateful. And um, this season, um, I kind of come from poverty too. I come from nothing, so. Um, I know I went all pro last year, Pro Bowl, but I don't want to um, become, what's the word, comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So it's just going to teach me how to grind harder and, you know, match what I did last year and become even, become even much better. What part of Africa did you travel to? I went to South Africa, Zimbabwe, Johannesburg, and, and uh, Cape Town. All three of them was a vibe. I love all three of them. Amazing friends out there. I'm going to fly uh, one guy out here that I met out, met out in Africa to meet his daughter. She, uh, she go to school in Denver. I think she go to culinary school mm -hmm. and he can't really afford to come out here so you know I'm helping to come out here mm -hmm. for sure. I feel I feel good when I do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.